My name is Justin Griffith. I was a Phoenix police officer for 10 years. My badge number was 7761, and I never thought this would happen to me. Hi, my name is Justin Griffith. My Arizona Department of Corrections number is 300137. What was it like shooting heroin for the first time? When I shot it for the first time, it was a, a numbing effect. It was took away a lot of the anxiety, a lot of the thoughts, a lot of the fear, and uh, numbed me and allowed me to uh, not think about all the the bad things that go through my head. During my 10 years as a police officer with the city of Phoenix, uh, I had numerous officers involved shootings. I was the shooter in three of them. And during that time, obviously, I uh, saw a bunch of officers lose their lives, and as well as an incident where I was severely injured. Uh, my first shooting occurred in uh, 2005. Uh, my second shooting occurred in 2007, and my third was in 2009. And, um, Late 2009, I was injured on a call where a subject tried, pulled a gun on me and tried to kill me, in which where I had to have surgeries and um, injured my right arm and my right bicep, with, which led to a total of 13 surgeries on the arms, which led into my pill addiction. And eventually, I was diagnosed with PTSD in 2010. Um, during those last four years of my career, I, uh, I began to tumble down uh, the rabbit hole, as we say, and uh, began to fall apart because I didn't know what was going on with me. Um, the pill addiction started in, again in 2009 and erupted in 2012 when I eventually lost my job due to the, uh, the uh, pill addiction and the things I was doing with that and began to shoot heroin in 2012 which ultimately led to my arrest in 2014, 2015 which led to me serving two and a half years in uh, the Arizona Department of Corrections. When I first came to Pistol, um, I was lost. I had nothing, um, couldn't find any help. I was a drug addict, I was suicidal, and thought that I would be judged when I walked in. Um, after sitting through one of the groups, I found that uh, they weren't judging me, and it was a group of cops trying to help cops, trying to save cops' life and, and uh, help each other so we don't end up by ourselves out there in a dark room wondering if there's help going to be coming later.